Have you ever wanted to play a Mortal Kombat style Star Wars game? Well, this fan certainly did, and when he saw that nobody was making such a game, he decided to take the matter in his own hands. And that is how Force Combat was created. The name of this guy is Last Jawa, and he launched this game as a free public alpha on January 15th of 2020. Since then he has kept updating the game by fixing bugs and glitches, adding new game modes and characters and much more. His idea is actually crazy if you think about it. He's only one guy trying to make by himself an entire Star Wars Mortal Kombat game. In case you didn't know, there was another game like this that was released in 1997 on PlayStation called Masters of Terras Cassie. When it was released, Masters of Terras Cassie received mixed to negative reviews from critics because of sluggish movement, uninteresting combos and overpowered force moves along with other bad stuff. It was developed by LucasArts and I didn't find the exact number Number, and I am not sure how accurate it is, but at the time at least 50 employees worked on the game. Again, not sure how correct this information is, so take it with a grain of salt, maybe it was much more or much less, but still, it doesn't even compare to a single guy trying to make another game similar in gameplay style to Terras Cassie. And since 1997, there hasn't been another try at such a game from a proper developer studio. So that is why he decided to make such an ambitious project. The gameplay is exactly what you would expect, it is Mortal Kombat but in Star Wars, you have a set of moves that you can perform and make combos, if you get knocked out in both rounds you lose, I bet you've played Injustice or Mortal Kombat at least once, so you know how this works. There are actually more modes than I expected from a fan game. There is a training mode where you can test out each character's abilities and try different combos on your enemies. There is an online mode where you can host or join your friends matches. I didn't play this because I don't have any friends. I'm just joking. There is also a versus mode where you can fight the GPU or you can fight your friend. And yes, you can play against your friend on the same PC, kind of like a two player local co-op. These are all standard game modes that you can find in any Mortal Kombat game, but here come the interesting ones. There is a game mode called Path of the Force, where you fight a row of enemies one by one, and if you manage to defeat all of them you win. At the start you can choose to play the tower that you want. Each tower has a number of enemies that you need to defeat to win. By the way, you can choose how hard to make the gameplay and you can set it from very easy to very hard or impossible or something like that. I played very easy at the start to learn the controls which took some time and in the end I tried it on normal where I got destroyed. The last game mode is the standout here. It is called movie towers. This mode was added quite recently in alpha 4.0. You can play the story of the original trilogy, prequel trilogy and sequel trilogy and also you get to choose if you want to play on the lights side or the dark side. For example, in the fight between Obi-Wan and Maul that takes place in the Rebels show, you can have Maul win the battle and basically end the Star Wars. See what I did there? Probably not, let's move on. This mode was the one that I played and enjoyed the most because of how unique it is. By the way, you can play this game with a controller or gamepad if you would like to. I should have probably done that because it is harder to play using a mouse and keyboard than a controller. If you've been wondering, the controls are responsive and it feels satisfying when you manage to hit a combo and damage your enemy with the lightsaber. Although there is a learning curve and it will take you a couple of matches to understand the buttons properly. If the game modes didn't convince you to try the game already, the character roster certainly will. You can play with Mara Jade, Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Emperor Palpatine, Bausch Leia, that is weirdly using her lightsaber from episode 9, and a lot more characters as you can see on screen. You have 16 characters already unlocked, and there are even more characters that you can unlock by playing and winning in the Path of the Force game mode with certain characters. For example, you can unlock Starkiller by winning in Path of the Force with Mara Jade. However, you have to be on a difficulty higher than easy, which is 
pretty difficult for me at least. The only small problem I have with the game is that it doesn't tell you how you can unlock these secret characters. I had to find out how to unlock Starkiller from last Jawa's YouTube channel and I think it would have been a lot better if the game actually told you what you needed to do to get this. Also, now each character has at least 3 different skins, which again you can unlock from playing the game. It has lots of interesting features and it is definitely worth a try. Before I talk about the future of the game, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like my content so far. Moving on, the game is going to enter beta soon and the beta will include new characters like Cal Kestis, Han Solo, Boba Fett, Darth Revan, Malak, Dark Trooper, Magna Guard, Finn, Tok and Darth Talon. As you can see, 10 more new characters. Also, there will be added new fight towers including the Clone Wars and Season 1 and 2 of The Mandalorian, along with a lot more maps like Corellia, Moff Gideon Star Destroyer, Yavin 4, etc. I am sure that this game, when it will finally enter the beta stage, it will be even more fun than it is now. Again, the crazy part is that it is made by only one man. Imagine how a game like this would be if it was made by a proper developer studio. The sad thing is that even though Last Jawa has put so much effort in creating this game, he won't be able to make any money from the game since Lucasfilm Games and Disney won't let him make money from the Star Wars IP and would probably give him a lawsuit if he started putting ads in it for example. The only way for him to make money is from his Patreon and Paypal from the people that want to show their support to his work. But not everybody is willing to do that. Also I wonder why I haven't seen a lot of people actually playing the game. It is such a a cool idea and there aren't any alternatives to a Star Wars game like this. So why aren't more people playing this game? This isn't an easy question to answer but I hope he gets the recognition he deserves and more people start playing the game and supporting him. It would be really nice if some developer studio would contact him and offer him a well paid job because the effort he put in this game is crazy. There are signs that this is a fan game and that there is only one person making it but you can't complain when he's letting anyone play for free without having to pay anything. But I can only imagine how this project would be if there was a studio like Netherrealm working on it with all of the 240 employees trying to make the smoothest fighting game. Masters of Terra's Cassie is probably the reason why nobody is trying to do what Last Jawa did, but I still think a game like this would sell like crazy. I made this video so that the game would get even more recognition than it already already has and to show how cool this idea is of you being able to win unique battles like Luke Skywalker fighting General Grievous or Obi-Wan fighting Leia with her lightsaber and soon we will be able to even play with Cal Kestis. The game will only get bigger and better from here and I am excited to see what other ideas and characters Last Jawa will implement. But until then click on this video to see how Battlefront 2 is 3 years later. Bye.